Hey, what's up, folks at home? Today we're out here. It's October 30th. Halloween's tomorrow. We're out here on Tippy Lake in northern Indiana. We got a beautiful day, right? The water temps are in the low 60s. Fish should be chewing. They should be chasing. We got some wind. We got some sun. Hey, let's go down here, break down this lake, see if we can't catch a couple. We'll see you out there. So guys, the first thing that I'm looking for out here, I'm looking for hard cover and I'm looking for grass. So we can see here on the side scan, we got some tufts of grass here in seven foot. We got some shadows on there. I'm running my sonar. I'm running that graph too on side scan. So what we're looking for here are fish that are in transition, right? If these fish are transitioning, we can find them in these spots. And I'm running on top of this here just to see and kind of look what's the grass like what's everything looking like we got tufts of grass here we got some stuff so we're going to work out off the drop here a little bit see if we can't find something a little bit further out we got some clarity today too so we should be able to throw a jerk bait swim bait stuff like that see if we can't find anything So we've been working in and out this brake line. Got a nice one here on the jerk bait. He's peppered. But this time of year, when the water, there we go. There we go. Nice little fish. See you later. <laughs> I got a nice bass and all the weeds in the lake. Ugh. Ugh. Look at that. Nice bass. So guys, what I'm doing here, in the fall, you're fishing almost everything bait fish dependent. I'm fishing this Mega Bass Vision 110 right here in the pro blue clear color. The water clarity is great. I'm fishing an offshore hump out here, right, on the lake. There's an offshore hump out here. It comes to about six, seven feet. I'm keeping it in 10 to 12. I'm throwing that jerk bait around those tufts of grass we saw on the sonar. The fish are coming out of the grass to hit that jerk bait. All right, let's get some more. Peppered. Little one. He's straight up peppered with hooks. That's why you don't grab the little ones like that. Chew. Don't ever grab them with a jerk bait in them like that. They freak out. Like that until you can get the jerk bait away from them. That's why every time you try to grab them, they freak out. Chill. Always, always, always take those hooks out with pliers on the little ones like that. 
They'll get you every time. a better fish. There we go. Nice, beautiful fish. Got to grab my pliers here. We're on them now. We got a pattern. They're in those outside weed edges looking forward and we're on them now it's a nice another healthy fish right there we're on them Real giant here, folks. Woohoo! Look at that beast. Monster. Oh, where's my pliers? It's always the little ones that get you. There we go. Rat. So guys, what we've been doing today, it's not as windy out here right now. We've been throwing this jerk bait. It's the Vision 110 um, in Pro Blue. And really, this time of year, I'm looking for the last green weeds. If you can find green weeds on a break line, you're gonna find bait fish, you're gonna find bass. Now, the jerk bait is a fantastic way to find those active fish and get bit. It was windy out on the main lake. We have water temps in the 50s, like 55, 56 to 54 to 52. In the channels, we got 60. So we got a really, really wide range of water temps. The jerk bait this time of the year is honestly the best way to get bit. As you can see, we put a nice couple bass in the boat. Um, it really allowed us to search for spots. Now we're still looking for some bass out here. We kind of got into a calmer pocket. We can see some fish around, but they don't want to bite. They don't want to eat. That Vision 110 right there in that color, for whatever reason in the fall time, this one will absolutely positively get bit right it's one of those baits it's one of your top baits out there it's something that I, I have a ton of confidence in right now the gear i'm throwing it on i am throwing this on 10 pound tatsu fluorocarbon right i always throw jerk baits on fluorocarbon because you want that consistency in your bite you want that consistency in your twitch and I have a specialty rod here that I like to throw. Right here is this six scale Hemadol. It's a six nine medium. It's got a nice tip on it, right? You've seen that nice flex on it. But this is a specific jerk bait rod. It's a beauty right here from six scale. It really does a nice job. Paired with that, I have the six scale Harmar. Now, this is one of those neodymium weight magnet um, casting reels, so it's literally dialed in, right? I could take this reel, throw it straight into the wind, and not get a backlash this setup right here is high dollar but it is worth it when you go down the rabbit hole of fishing jerk baits and getting to know your jerk bait rod and doing a good job fishing the jerk bait you need specific gear right you need that tip so you don't lose fish on that rod you need that good reel so you can make long casts most of my casts today have been super long when i've caught a fish it just gives you confidence in order to do that, right? This six gill combo right here, it's high dollar, um, but it's worth it. When I throw jerk baits, I want that finesse feel. I want that um, 
confidence I get from that rod and reel combo, guys. So check out six gill for that. It's great. It's cheaper than some, but it's a great combo. That Harmar in there with the oversized handle. It's a beaut, right? Nice, nice, nice combo. Great rod. I have a lot of faith in it. It gets it done for me today. Um, and it gets it done for me all the time when I'm throwing that jerk bait. So I hope you like today's video. I hope you get something out of today's video. Grab a rod, go out, throw the jerk bait, twitch, 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 pause, mix your cadences. Let us know how you do, guys. Let us know in the comments what videos you want us to do next. We'll see you next time.